Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you the Interview uh, Multifunction LED Light Q. Exactly what this is, it's just a small low LED light cube that takes three AAA battery and uh, the battery actually come with the unit so you didn't have to buy them. Usually these kind of device you always have to buy the battery but uh, this one come with the battery so you ready to go as soon as you open it and use it. Uh, it does come with a little user manual, I will show you where that goes. And uh, this is the stupid packaging that come in one of these little really hard to open, have to end up cutting it. So anyway this guy is pretty easy to use, uh, you have this little uh, translucent area here which is where the light will lit up. At the bottom, you have a, a button here that will change to a different mode. Uh, you single click to basically go to the next mode, double click to go to previous mode. You can hold down for I think 5 seconds to get to the emergency mode. So um, to open this panel up, it's kind of a little bit tricky but there's a little lever here and you just push in this level. So when you hit that pop, the panel will come up and underneath there's a battery. It does come with a little tap to stop the battery from uh, being used so you I took the tap up. Underneath that's the 3 AAA battery. You even come with Duracell battery, so it's not bad. Uh, while we're inside here, I do want to show you there's a little instruction here. There's the instruction on how to use it. And uh, you also have this little instruction manual which was inside this uh, guy here. Anyway, here you can actually take this little hook off, like this. And uh, this little hook here is actually designed to hook into this area right here. You can uh, use this hook here as a hook and you can hang on something like that if you want to. So that's the uh, hook here. It doesn't move, it just kind of get into that little place there and stay right out. Anyway, you can close it back up by just uh, pushing this panel and then uh, slide this little door over and then push it back down and then that keep it in place and it's not going to come out. The top part of the queue here, this part just come right off just like this. And then now there are some LEDs, you see three different LED colors there and uh, those are the ones that make the different, uh, in combination they make different colors. So just uh, close it back down like that and then that's your cue. So let me demonstrate to you here. So first color, this is just a plain simple white. We lock the camera here. So you can see here, uh, there's the LED and you can see there's actually a refresh rate. My camera is actually picking that up. We're going to go to the next mode here. This is medium. You can see. So the first mode is like kind of like sleeping and just really relax and then there's a bright mode. This is pretty bright. You can see. And then next we have the uh, different color changing, and this is going to change to a variety of different color. So it's going to slowly fade between color. Right now it was red, and then it's going to uh, orange, and probably going to go to yellow now. I kind of go to white, and then it's going to go to blue. It's going to change to a bunch of different color here. So anyway, if I press it again, it will lock to that color. And you can see right here, so it's now in that color. We're going to press it again, and that turn it off. So those are a different mode. This unit here on the maximum uh, brightness is 100 lumen, so it's not bad. I lit up a small area at night if it's dark. And also, uh, it used the 3 AAA battery there, and if you run it continuously in that mode, it will last over 3 hours. And if you run it in the SOS mode, which I believe just holds down here for 6 seconds. So in this emergency flashing mode here, uh, it will last for about 11 hours, so just a little flash here. Um, so if you're going to use this a lot, I would suggest uh, using rechargeable battery. But uh, you know, if you use this just here and there, um, I think the normal dual cell battery is going to be just fine. So I hope this short little review helped you in your purchase decision. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.